Time to get my T-Swift tickets! Ah, okay, oh, ooh, I gotta, okay, I gotta wait in line. No worries. I once waited two hours for the release of the pumpkin spice mocha machate. So, honestly, I'm honored to get in line the way Taylor gets her exes in line. Screw you, Harry. She looks better in a dress anyway. Ticket faster, ticket faster! <sighs> Why is my boss pinging me? No, I'm gonna have to take PTO for this. I'd do anything for Taylor. I mean, her last name is Lily Swift. Like, <laughs> what is going on? Did you see Taylor's post? She is mad. <laughs> yeah, PTO, piss Taylor off. That's what, that's it. I can't wait for Ticketmaster Taylor's version. Ah! Oh my gosh, it's time. We're, okay, we, I'll get uh, six tickets. Six, oh, oh, they crashed. It's been a Taylor failure. Taylor Swift just came through uh, Kansas City, and boy, yeah, the content was wild. I think we might have been the only three people who didn't go. <laughs> yeah. I agree. Katie, That's all Instagram is right now. Katie was struggling. She, months ago, she's like, I don't really, it's no. fine, it's too okay, much. Okay, well, this is what happened. I signed up to go, and one of our friends sat on the presale for eight hours to get tickets. She was only able to get six and there was probably nine people in this group message. And the other girls seemed really, really ecstatic. And I was hadn't even had Thomas yet. So I was like, I don't know. So I politely bowed out Very at the selfless. time. Also, yeah, uh, there was a nice way of saying there were certain girls' group texts I think would have killed themselves if they could have <laughs> so. Yeah, so I was like, it's I had fine. To but then hindsight, I was kind of like, I should have done that. Yeah, Rachel ne didn't mention anything to me she about it until the week it. of, and then all of a sudden she's like, this is starting to look pretty cool. Like, how much are tickets? And we did not end up going. <laughs> I saw... 1700 Were they selling please? tickets behind the stage? That's my new yeah. fascination, is checking StubHub, because Stub StubHub will show you a picture of what your seats will look like, which is nice, but so you can see, like, how much seats are going for behind the stage. You can't see a thing. It's awesome. Honestly, I mean, 300s in front of her or straight behind her, it's kind of the same thing. She's like <laughs> she's like 200 yards away. Uh, did they sell out the behind her? No, I don't think That's so. That's crazy. They, would, they like should have put them up for videos. sale. Well, I mean, they definitely sold out initially. Like at face value, they all got sold. Yeah, You know, you video, can't get anything from Ticketmaster. I, the video I saw, there was no one seated in the oh, seats behind. Oh, right. Her. I see behind. what you're saying. They don't. Yep, yep. They don't let you sit directly behind it, but they'll let you sit pretty far. Pretty behind far. It. Behind <laughs> it. Right. I'm saying they should have just, just. They would have sold those in a second. They would have straight up look at the back of a jumbo truck. Like, <laughs> yep. <laughs> I'm in. Yeah, it's like they the, these places. They have standards. Like not by much, but like all right, we probably shouldn't sell a ticket directly behind it, but. Let's still sell you a ticket. We can't see anything. Well, we're back with correct opinions, y'all. I feel like I forgot the music last few. I'm not going to forget it. So um, thank you guys for coming on back. Great episode today. Enjoy it. Like, subscribe, and uh, let's roll the music. Correct opinions. Correct opinions. And this episode is sponsored again by Long Drink, my literally favorite alcoholic beverage right now. Boy, are these things crispy. Long Drink. Um, Ricky Fowler's a part owner. Go Pokes, go golf. Miles Teller, Top Gun. Mustaches uh, are hot. Whiplash. Whiplash. You like that movie? Like it. Love it. <laughs> Long drink. Uh, canned citrus beverage. And boy, boy, do I like it. Didn't you say, is it like the world's, America's fastest growing? I saw it's America's salt? fastest growing alcohol brand. Right now, it is it is Jake's fastest growing alcohol brand. No I really kidding. do like it. Yeah. every Literally, everyone I've introduced it to who the like, I haven't heard of this. They taste it. They love it. It's like seltzers, but better. It's a cleaner finish. Um, this this is the original flavor. They have a locale. They have a cranberry peach we had in Nashville. We had a peach. Yeah. <sighs> Which one is your favorite? The peach was something else. <laughs> I don't know. I'd recommend the, the classics hard to beat too. I was going to say, I really like the original. It's just such a good summertime drink. Good summer it's summer citrusy. so good. Um, so go to thelongdrink.com slash tray to find it near you. Uh, they got it almost everywhere in the country. Uh, try them out. Tag me. Let me know. I've had a lot of fans tagging me saying they're trying it. They're loving it. So thanks, Long Drink, for sponsoring us. Uh, go check it out. Thelongdrink.com slash tray. Ah! Oh, no. What happened? We're trying to attract things. Oh, well, you could do a better job than that. I know. That attracts <laughs> attention, but not a good hire. No, no, no. And if you need to hire someone great, you need Indeed. Indeed is the hiring platform. You can attract, interview, and hire all in one place. Instead of spending hours on multiple job sites searching for candidates, uh, Indeed's hire Indeed is a powerful hiring platform go. that can help you do it all. Ah! 
Ah! Oh, oh, sorry, I'm in my old, my old mm, habits. Right. Change it up. Indeed, they have Instant Match. This tool indeed has. Over 80% of employers get quality candidates with this. Uh, that, that helps them get a, uh, candidates whose resume on Indeed matches their job description the moment they sponsor a job. Mm. So uh, I helped. Uh, Indeed is what I used to hire some great people. It was very helpful. Um, Join over 3 million businesses worldwide using Indeed. And Jake has a call to action for you. Go. Here it comes. Start hiring now with a $75 sponsored job credit to upgrade your job post at Indeed.com slash Trey. Offer good for a limited time. Claim your $75 credit. Indeed.com slash Trey. Just go to Indeed.com slash Trey. Support the show by saying you heard about it on this podcast. Indeed.com slash Trey. Terms and conditions apply. Need to hire? You need Indeed. Indeed. Ah! Stop it. You know what my favorite f- little saying was growing up? Uh, uh, give a mouse a cook. No, no, no. Hey, hey, the penny step, on a, step on a crack, break your mother's back. What do you say now? <laughs> what I say now is take a big dump. <laughs> Hello, Tushy Bidet <laughs> avoids the clumps. <laughs> Hello, Tushy Bidet cleans your bum two times better than wiping and prevents poo particles from spreading to your hands and everything you touch. We know. I, but when I wiped, Everyone in the studio called me Poo Poo Hand. I was using all sorts of stuff. Yeah. I mean, anything. Parts of my t-shirt. I mean, it was gross. Oh, right. Now I just use water. Yeah. Hello Tushy Bidet. Um, if you haven't used Bidet, you should. And Hello Tushy, it's easy. It doesn't require extra plumbing or anything. Um, they have a 60-day risk-free guarantee, 12-month warranty. So go to hellotushy.com forward slash correct and use promo code correct to get 10% off plus free shipping on your first uh, Bidet order. That's hellotushy.com slash correct for 10% off. Australia! New Zealand. That's right. Taylor Good Swift is the only one who travels around. T- Taylor Swift's not going to Australia. Did wow. you know that? Well, that, I saw a comment that said that if we can't get Taylor Swift, at least, at least we get Trey. And that's my marketing tool. Wow. So, I think yeah. you should open with at least one Taylor Swift. Actually, you know what I'll do? I will come on stage. When I when I run on stage, it'll be to a Taylor Swift song and in I'm Australia. And I'm laying on the cold heart ground. <laughs> nah. See, she's not a, she's not a Swifty. I am. I'm just not a singer. But uh, so she's not going to be there. I am. And tickets are on pre-sale right now. Code grow up. Uh, let us know. Our, our Oz, Aussie and Kiwi friends. Yeah, that's correct. Right. If you're if you're coming, let us know in the correct opinions DMs or the YouTube channel. And uh, can't wait. Uh, you know, it's very it's always nerve wracking to put up a show for sale, but especially in another country for the first time. <laughs> yeah, like, I bet. Did they even heard of me over there? I mean, it, of course, we see. There's analytics that that says people over there are watching, but I I don't know. So it, speak it seems English. like people, some of y'all were commenting you're excited, and they speak English, and they're white. <laughs> I won't go to those other countries. <laughs> That's right. I forgot about that. Yeah, That's yeah. your thing. Mm-hmm. Well, if you need Not like racist a... towards all of them, <laughs> but the one race... I've been working on that bit. I, I have a, <laughs> do you have a bunch of bits that you're like, man, it's funny, but I'm a clean comedian. I can't do that. Can't this. do that one, yeah. There's something funny about being a. I am not racist towards black people, but <laughs> you want to talk about it? <laughs> Start on some nope. other ones. We're like, um, I don't think there's black people in Australia though. I think there's very few. Really? Very few. It's interesting. There's a big uh, Eastern Asian influence in Australia, right, right? And they have their natives over there that they mm-hmm. ran out of town to. Very similar. Ugh. <laughs> so we're excited to come. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> All right, let's move on. And from this. Uh, get your tickets. <laughs> Trakey.com slash tour, pre sale code, grow up. Um, Taylor Swift's not coming. Derek made a great point, family man. He said, Taylor Swift, it made, a, it made all the grown women just act like 12 year olds again. I was shocked by uh, the, the bracelets that I saw. It okay. looked like Walk Coachella. Me the bracelets. Yeah, what's going on, Katie? I only know is that I guess you like traded them when you were there. Like you made a bunch with like Taylor Swift lyrics or song names. It's like an EDM you, festival. And then you would trade them with people. Cause I went to, I didn't go to the concert, but I went to a Taylor Swift brunch with all the girls who were going. Oh heck yeah, Katie. And they were, they had beads, they were making bracelets. So I made a bracelet too. It just says Thomas on it. <laughs> <laughs> no one wanted Not to trade Swiftie. with me. No one would trade. <laughs> Um, but yeah, they all had them stacked up their arms and, and you just walk around to other girls and be like, Hey, I have, trade I don't know how that works. Yeah. What is the, what does the bartering system look like? <laughs> hey, I have lover. Oh, you have folklore. Yeah. You want to you, <laughs> Yeah. I don't know. Like do you, is, maybe you go into the thing, like wanting to get like certain ones and you try and find it's like people. fantasy football. It's or kind something. of like, <laughs> yeah. it's like, um, but you could have made whatever you wanted the first time. 
Yes. Like, true. oh, I really want one that says Bejeweled. Did you think about making one? No. Just figured I'd trade for it. More exciting. To I just would have run around. I just would have made one that says uh, the ones the ones Scooter Braun owns. I'm just <laughs> seen like f you. I'll never listen to she that. She doesn't get money from that yeah. one. That's pretty funny. But yeah. they also, I feel like the girls like they some kind of like dressed up like they were twelve. Also, that's what we're saying. That's yes. They <laughs> uh, the, the the friends we know they dressed up like they're twelve. They started making TikToks. There's a lot of tassels. I, it's, it's I've never this thirty year old girl. I've never I didn't even know she had TikTok, and now she's. Now she's in tassels doing like transitions. <laughs> I was like, wow. I had, I I had know a this. friend text me and just be like, just wondering if you would have gone to the concert, would you have worn as much glitter as the other girls? A lot of glitter. <laughs> and I said, I don't think so. I don't know. A lot of glitter. There were, so back in they, the day. Yeah, they looked like they were competing on uh, what was Ms. Honey Boo Boo. Toddlers and tiaras. Yeah, <laughs> they looked like they were auditioning for toddlers and tiaras. They were just having fun. There was, I mean, you, I go to a football. We all act like 12 year old boys. It's great. It's like their Super Bowl. Accurate. There are Accurate. funny comparisons. Like I remember like the Chiefs have, you know, had a lot of success recently. I'm a big Chiefs fan. And then I see like, you know, some like four year old boy gets to go to a Chiefs playoff game. I'm thinking, you don't know, you know, or some what, like what the longtime uh, fans have been through. Some middle school girl that is friends of a friend, you know, so I'm like, oh, you don't deserve to be there. I deserve to be there. And I feel like that was that was Rachel with this Taylor Swift concert, like seeing like kids, she babysits. She's like, they don't even know the no, lyrics. They don't know. The I eras. need to be in that seat. They don't know the, all the eras. They don't know the eras. Like they didn't do. have a burned Taylor Swift CD when they were in high school. Right. You didn't, they didn't go to youth group when they were in 10th grade. And they're like to, to get the shy kids involved. Let's all mouth the words to Romeo and Juliet. And yeah. I had to stand in the corner and I didn't even know the words. I was like, I know Romans and Juliet. Yeah. Oh, Ro Romeo. That happened to you, Jim? Oh, like, oh, we got to mouth it. Okay. Um, for There's no sin for those who've been saved by Christ. Oh, oh. Romans, I mean, Ro uh, uh, the wages of sin are death. <laughs> the free gift of God is eternal. <laughs> uh, lying on the cold, hard ground. You guys were sheltered, huh? <laughs> yeah, I knew Weird Al versions of songs. I did not know the originals at all. So yeah, early Taylor Swift, I got to say, Teardrops on My Guitar, even Fearless. Don't know that as well. Anything the last 15 years, I'm solid. Oh, wow. Really? Well, yeah, Those were so sense. harmless. Well, well they, weren't, think, they weren't being played on 88.3 <laughs> The Wind. So if they didn't get played there, I didn't oh. hear it. There was underlying Hollywood satanic messages. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. Wake up. Read a book, wow. Katie. Read wow. a book. Read a book. On Wake 4chan. up. 4chan. <laughs> I know of, some Reddit commenters. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, I, but I'm sure they had a great time um, listening, sitting in the nosebleeds where she's 200 yards away. Might as well just, might as well go in your backyard and just play music on the speakers really loud. You can't even see her. She's a <laughs> dot down there. I mean, if you were, yeah, if you were up in the, but, People pay for that to watch football too. No, that's I, different. That's, that's no, different. That's different. Because you go to a football game, you don't know. You don't know what's what, gonna happen. Yeah, what's gonna happen? Yeah, win, lose, touchdown, fumble, whatever. And you could say I was there. Taylor Swift, you know the forty-four songs she's playing <coughs> before you get there. There's you have a, access to the forty-four songs. There's a surprise song. I did hear about that. There's a little music video. It was Friday night. Surprise song. Like Taylor Taylor Lautner popped out. I guess yeah. that was her touchdown. That was her game-winning field mm -hmm. goal. Yeah. Yeah. A song that's on Spotify. All right, all right. fair, fair, fair. Um, uh, also, quick, to, people play nosebleed. They pay like no one's ever paid nosebleed seats for like two grand. That's true. Yeah, it's like the Super Bowl, eighty five dollars. Super Bowl. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, there's like a Super Bowl in like every city, right? And like, like the Super Bowl goes around to all the major cities, and you can like do that, like probably yeah. like forty She's just times. She's all of her Super Bowls in, into one year <laughs> instead, instead of spreading them out over a lot of time. I mean. Very smart. I'm making a lot of money. Be, before <laughs> we is. move on really quickly, I feel like Derek especially is going to hate this as much as I do, being a camera tech guy. My sister's friends have started this new thing. I assume it's a much bigger trend, but they've spent like $800 and they will get like a point and shoot camera. Um, something that's been obsolete for about five to 10 years now. And they will just go like bachelor party, bachelor party weekend, take pictures with this point and shoot camera, Taylor Swift concert. My sister's friends, I like, go and they is use this point. So for, for those who it? really don't know, point and shoot means just like, like a, is it a digital camera? It's or? a digital camera. Okay. One of those like skinny little rectangles. Yeah. That like sometimes the flash pops up out of it. Yeah. 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 So it's one of those. They it's still like a digital cost, Polaroid. Yes. It's digital. It's not film. 
and they just yeah it's like uh facebook albums days they then they go home and then put it on their computer and look at them and then guess where they individually go to their cell phone guess what has a camera attached to it that's better than that canon point and shoot your cell phone <laughs> it, it i promise insane. you this is but worth do it do the pictures look artsy or no they look like a 2008 picture like, so I, you look better in that. It's a little blurry. <laughs> um, I'll tell yeah, you what happens. I've seen a lot of that. You're like, <laughs> you why? What? Yeah. You, like, you're, you're going to be showing your kids, like, you're all this, hey, yeah, you're going back through the photos. This is what, you're, which, what your old man was doing. Like, why the, why the photos look so bad? It was 2023. <laughs> like, well, yeah, I regret it, but it was, I thought it was cool. Well, it, it was, took more work and it looked worse. The, I didn't tell you the camera comes in pink. The iPhone doesn't right now. So, so it's the was, aesthetic. It's the aesthetic was pretty aesthetic. cool. But I guarantee you, it's a, it's a bunch of girls, too, who don't know how a camera works, so it always shoot on auto. So the yeah. flash is always on. So every picture, their eyes just look this color. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Taylor Swift, and they're just like crazy, and their face is all white from the flash. That's fair. That's but very annoying. no wrinkles. Katie That's, owns one of these cameras, I can tell. <laughs> she just bought <laughs> one last morning. night. It doesn't show detail, you know? It's kind of like, am I 18 or 25 or 30? You know? uh-huh. That's great. Good one. That is, you know, with the women, uh, we were watching this new show on Apple TV called Silo, and the whole gist is it's some post-apocalyptic, they're all living down underground in the silo, and it's like, when you know it's it, like wait. It's like a cast is, system. Are they, is there something okay. outside? Yeah, is yeah. the outside normal? Are they keeping us here? Anyway, they're supposedly been in, their civilization's been down in this silo underground for 100 plus years, and the main character, the woman, who's trying to figure out the truth, I guess there's a bunch of Botox down in the silo. <laughs> I always think this. When I watch these shows, it'll be like Sandra Bullock's like stranded somewhere on an island. I'm like, where's she popping in to get lip fillers? Yeah. She she looks she's been here three months. She still looks pretty good. Yeah. I just, uh, that's the one, people gloss over that. The, I the whole, gloss over it. I think, <laughs> man, her skin looks good. Good. The whole new, I've heard it's very difficult now to write movies with the whole cell phone thing, like special horror or thriller movies. You're like, how do we get rid of the phones in this? Oh, Because there's see. so many situations. You're like, well, I'll just call the police or I'll, I'm on find my friends. or I see. Oh. Like acknowledging the presence of if, cell phones. Just pay attention. Yeah. If you ever watch any, because I kind of like scary movies or thriller movies. If you ever watch any now, they're always like, they do some weird deal where they have no service or they do some weird explaining it's set thing. set in the 90s. Like, yeah, yeah, it's, it's back in the day. And no, they get to start addressing this Botox ep- epidemic because what's her name? She's been on an island for 10 years. Her skin's flawless. Doesn't make sense. That's Figure a, it out, Hollywood. That's a good point. I do mm-hmm. think at some point... Wake up. I, I did hear like actresses maybe didn't get Botox or he didn't get as much because you also can't show as many facial expressions if your face is frozen. So Ooh, yeah, that's maybe they need to think about that. I know a little more expressiveness. Uh huh. I'm mm-hmm. really expressive. A lot of people who <laughs> read audiobooks get a lot of Botox because they can still, you know, keep it together. You know, exactly. they don't need, the expression comes from the throat. Yes. So a lot of audiobook people are actually really attractive. Little known fact. No way. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Written, some of the most attractive people. Wow. <laughs> yeah. De- what's that? And Col- podcasters. What's her? Colleen? You better not listen to her book. Yeah, Good yeah, job. yeah. She's in the news. <laughs> Uh, the other Colleen. What oh, you were reading oh, the book? Oh, oh, wasn't oh. her name Colleen? Colleen Hoover. Colleen Hoover. Hoover. You listen to an audiobook from her. Oh man, <laughs> that actually. This book's actually would be one where you're like, really hope people aren't around listening. <laughs> yeah, I haven't read them, but just from what I've heard, you wouldn't want to listen to them like in the car. Like you need private headphones for this. Yeah, like yeah. just get stoplight, gas stations. People hear this. Jake's the bite marks the- on the headboard. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Turn that down. Turn that. <laughs> turn that down. <laughs> Jake's just look. Up, he's at the window down on a nice sunny day. He's looking over. Just. Pouring water on his head. Oh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> global warming. Colleen. <laughs> Hoover. Uh, what was I going to talk Okay, the other Colleen. Yeah. Colleen, whatever, Miranda Sings. Yeah. Everyone knows Miranda Sings, right? Katie, you've seen Miranda Sings? Old school YouTuber. No. You don't know? She used to do the lipstick crazy. She pretended to sing really poorly. Katie's great. She's, she's a mole person. She <laughs> doesn't know. I never got on YouTube. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Well, she's a massive <laughs> OG YouTuber and she, cancel mob. Oh, the woke mob cancel culture. Well, she releases an apology video for the ages. Uh, Derek, would you just play this? Let's get the what blind did she reaction. Do? Yeah, Let's what get she the get? blind reaction. Well, she's been accused of, she's had all this history of, um, in her live shows, cause she has a lot of children fans, YouTube, and she'll bring up like an underage kid on stage 
and like borderline of her assault them on stage. Like she, her character is like weird and awkward and she'll be like, Hey little boy, can, can I try to kiss you? And it like, there's, it's just a classic like 10 years ago, aging very poorly, mm. kind of weird. And then I guess there's weird accusations. She would like message underage kids. I'm seeing like, stuff now. She sent nothing lingerie like, to a 13 year old. Oh, all right. Stuff she's just blaming on being like socially awkward, but it's like, well, you're like, no, that's anyway. Wrong. I don't know. The main focus is how she chose to apologize. Okay, so okay. please enjoy. Let's hear it. Great skin, Botox. And this is a YouTube video called like, I'm sorry or something. Right. right. since you saw my face. I haven't been doing so great, so I took a little break. So a lot of people are saying some things about me that aren't quite true. Doesn't matter if it's true, though. Just as long as it's entertaining to you. Right? Oh. You guys having fun? Dang. All aboard the toxic gossip train. <laughs> Chugging down the tracks of misinformation. The toxic gossip train. <laughs> this is like Schoolhouse Rock. rumors look like facts if you don't oh my God, mind, making my hair no stand up. In the crash, but hey, at least you're having fun. Uh, hi everyone. I've been wanting to come online and talk to you. Okay, okay, minutes. okay. What is it? How long's um, the video? No, my team How long does this go on? Oh my God. Oh, it's like ten, 10 minutes. Ten minutes. Oh, they pause, pause. pause. <laughs> yeah, that's good. That's good. good what do you think? Though. You believe her? Good voice, though. The toxic gossip train. <laughs> I mean, I chugging down the tracks <laughs> of misinformation. Choo choo. Manipulation station. <laughs> it's so strange. I didn't expect it to be train themed. Yeah, I, I, I had yeah. purposely not watched that video <laughs> so I could get all it aboard. <laughs> Should yeah, I skip ahead to the, the highest peak real yeah, quick? Yeah, let's sure. see what yes, people are looking yes. for. I did not to expect it to be a song. breaking down about conductors or... What? <laughs> you gotta shovel the coal Person in their mouths. Who manipulates and abuses children. Oh. Sorry. So I just wanted to say that... Um, oh, God. I've ever groomed <laughs> he goes back to... Cats. I'm not a groomer. Oh, gosh. I'm just a loser. Who didn't understand I shouldn't respond to fans and I'm not a predator even though a lot of you think so because five years ago I made a fart joke and locked the boy in the basement <laughs> oh the toxic train chugging down the tracks I can't move I gotta move because I'm next to a school it's so <laughs> Insane. That's so funny. Yeah, she's, she's like, I'm not a groomer. I just didn't realize I shouldn't. Look, I didn't form know. bonds with children that watch my videos. I no did, one told me that. I didn't know sniffing his underwear was criminally wrong. Gosh. Yeah, what? I, I guess what do you I, want I need me? more information here. Half, half price on the tickets <laughs> to the train. <laughs> All aboard. I love she just keeps singing. Don't turn the camera around. There's an 11 year old old boy filming me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's locked here. It's so wild. I mean, how old is she? I don't know. She's been doing it a long time. I, I just think it's a another classic example. Someone just, you get, I guess, famous enough and so in your own bubble, you just lose your mind. I mean, who? What I get? What was her thought process? She's like, let's just do this a little different. Maybe my fans will be like, that's classic her being silly, goofy, making fun songs. That's and classic her not totally addressing uh, the claims. Yeah, well, wow. that's so funny. Imagine being like one of these kids, one of the victims or whatever, and you're like, oh, you know, here we go. She's finally apologizing. Let's click on the video. She pulls out a ukulele <laughs> and starts talking about trains. You're like. I don't feel apologized to at all. Yeah, this isn't really, this isn't helping. <laughs> they're, they're like in therapy. They're just like, she's going to apologize. The therapist's like, it's very important you watch it. And this is good. Know, it's gonna I think you're going to feel good after this. Healing. Yeah, it's going to make sure you watch it all. I mean, that's, that yeah. is a, a great reason to have the internet right there. There are a lot of very angry parents. Mm. 
I bet. I just it's so, so funny. Not like to mention the Hawaiian culture. <laughs> the, yeah, the ukulele. This is bad for its brand. Ba- I mean, ukulele has always been kind of a you know an uh, instrument adjacent. Everyone's like, oh, somewhere over the rainbow, somewhere over the rainbow. Give us something else. Give us something else. They're like, not this. <laughs> not manipulation station. <laughs> oh no, no. <laughs> is that what's over the rainbow? <laughs> <laughs> uh, the part where Derek fast forwarded to it, it seemed like she had stopped and she was going to talk. Like, uh-huh. hey, I'm not a groomer. Okay. All right. <laughs> and she enjoy, pulls did, it back out. Did you enjoy the six <laughs> minutes of that song? Let's talk about it. <laughs> a little too serious. Back to the music. <laughs> All right. Sorry. That's enough of that. And then is I'm there, not a groomer. Did it peak? How does it? There's four more minutes after that. Does it kind of wrap up or? Just keep singing. The tongue's That is a long song. Train. Yeah. Does she have a, it's also amazing. a teleprompter? I mean, that'd t- yeah. That had to take her 20 hours to <laughs> make this thing. It's un- the crazy part. She had like 10 million views. So. Or another peak? Might be yeah. Worth we'll bring it. up the video. What's. Another. How do, yeah. Go go a couple minutes more. What does she What does she do? How does she close? Yeah. What, where's she over, right here? Any bad intentions. Never. No bad intentions. But I do feel like. Okay. Then what? Don't start strumming again, Colleen. Don't strum it again. Don't strum it again, Colleen. Just talk. No, don't do another chord progress. <laughs> <laughs> that was perfect. That was perfect. It seriously it reminds me so much of Schoolhouse Rock. <laughs> you just saw her starting to, to finger a new chord. Like, Colleen, Colleen, Colleen. Stop it, stop it. This is your PR team. Wow. Uh, so... You know, I when you're in this position, right? You there's always that fear. Even if you've done nothing wrong, you have that you have that weird fear in the back of your head. Like, am I going to cancel one day? So many people getting Something, canceled. Yeah. So I thought we should thought it'd be best if we are prepared with our own little rendition. We just should just to practice, right? Let us know, Recties, like if this is kind of like tracking with just an example situation you get canceled for. I think that just anyone who gets canceled for, you could borrow this song. Derek, can we get some ukulele apology music? I'm sorry, Bella. I'm sorry, Dan. I'm sorry, Teddy. Oh, okay, okay. Sorry, Bella. I'm sorry, Dan. I'm sorry, Teddy. And uh, I'm sorry, T- Stan. I made a mistake because I got caught throwing dogs in a lake. <laughs> Here's my song. It's time to make amends because I like to punt, pass, kick a man's best friend. So I'm sorry, Sparky. I'm sorry, Roscoe. I'm sorry, Charlie. I'm sorry, Blue. I was having fun and then somebody tattled. A cinder block attached to a leg makes it hard to doggy paddles. <laughs> that's it. Oh, yeah, that's pretty. I think that it was a lot, brought a lot of healing to Stan. Well, all of them, but yeah. <laughs> wow, I don't even like dogs and that was pretty sick. Well, well, that's why he apologized. Yeah. That's why people were coming for me. Poor okay. Miranda. Actually, right. no, not poor Miranda. Poor Miranda sings. Well, poor Miranda sings. Colleen has got canceled. Miranda sings the character. She did nothing wrong. She's got a ton of views. She's doing great. <sighs> so Maybe she just them. wants to go on a more serious route. It didn't look like it. <laughs> Let's uh, do more ukulele. Uh, okay. Instagram uh, released a new app, Threads. Uh, oh, yeah. Twitter, basically. They... Um, I had heard this is coming out. It came out all of a sudden and I mean, pretty cool. It's makes total sense. It's integrated into your Instagram. So everyone got a ton of followers quickly and that that's was kind of very exciting. Smart. Like, Except you had to download something else. They, they made it very easy. <laughs> I mean, yeah, true. It took I, like what? I think it took seven seconds for me on my sure, Wi-Fi. Sure, sure, sure. So. But I, it should have just been on the same app. That's my opinion. I would have never tried. He was like, are you following me on threads? I'm like, I would have never downloaded this if well, you wouldn't have said that. Katie can't. We've talked about it. She stopped being able to use technology when we got married. <laughs> I yeah. just don't just, use she's it. like, Trey I does just... that now. She's like, Trey does it now. Why are Hulu and Netflix and HBO different apps? Just make them. This, I don't care if they're different companies. Yeah, different people different, work on them. I have to them. click another button. <laughs> just um, be all in one app. Amazon and I Netflix agree. and YouTube and Instagram and texting. One app. One app. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> Threads. Um, I got. I don't know what. I, I. I think everyone was excited. I wonder if how much how consistently people put out content. But you excited? Yeah, it was an exciting first week. I think everyone is like three weeks from now. What's this going to be like? But yeah. so far, pretty good head of steam. Seventy million downloads as of like last Friday. I saw. 
And yeah, they're very smart letting you take kind of your your insta your username, some of your followers with you and yeah, it's fun. Cause that's the biggest barrier to entry to move to a new app or like, hey, this is Twitter but better. It's like it might be better, but I have all these followers at Twitter, so I'm not moving on. Yeah. Forbes post threads now fastest growing app in history, hundred million users in five days. Wow. Which is crazy because Twitter Twitter only has, I think, two or three hundred million wow. users. Um but yeah, it's just it's so we they made it I'm shocked sometimes how hard certain companies and apps make it to just get going. There was no login. There it was, was nothing. So easy, which is what it, that I think that's half the value of some of these companies. Like Amazon makes it just so easy to buy a thing. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Apple makes it so easy for me to buy. Apple AirPods. Pay. Yeah, buying things on your phone. Yeah. Things like and that. Uh, yeah, we'll see. People keep it going because it's. I don't know really how how it's different at all. It's literally Twitter. It seems like a more, like dumb down Twitter, if anything. There's like Sounds less features. Sure. Perfect for me. Yeah. Sure. Well, there was such a trend think, of like screenshotting your tweet and putting it on your stories or your Instagram. So they were like, now you can just thread that. Yeah. I don't know. Seems like a good opportunity for me. Definitely. I might, I might make my mark on threads. Make your mark. Be like uh -huh. girl. Yep. Get yourself a cannon point and shoot. Go crazy. I have a lot of inspirational quotes. The uh, I think it's the CEO of Instagram. Uh, Montessori, whatever his name is. Yeah. <clears throat> he was big on He claims, he's like, hey, threads, we're not going to do any politics. We're not going to do any hard-hitting news. That's That doesn't belong here. So they're trying to be a little different than Twitter in that way. But I think other people are also saying, like, you kind of need that stuff to get, like, good content yeah, on I mean, a platform. Do, but you're also going to post whatever you want. How do they keep that from... <laughs> yeah. Hey. Hey, he guys. Just, he's just tweeting all day long. Stop tweeting. Stop, stop threading that. Stop. It's politics. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know how they police that, but just their goal, I guess. I don't know. But you've been threading? <clears throat> Here and there. Just I, know, uh, it's like... I never tweet, so I'm sure there's a handful of people like me out there. It's like I never use Twitter, but I'll use some threads. Just write right, some jokes out there. I know right now there's no kind of discover. It's really simple. You just you just follow people and you just see what they tweet. Yeah, Thread. threads threads is giving you a lot of uh, people you're not following, I feel like. Yeah, okay. So it's like decent discoverability. Katie, you got to get on threads. I'm open. I'm on it now. Oh, okay. How quick was that, though? It was very quick. I bet you already have 2,000 followers on threads. Well, how many mm -hmm. followers, Katie? I have zero. All right. You might need to accept some people, but Derek, are you on threads? <laughs> you have zero? <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you, man. She just... Let's see. Derek, are you on it? You I on? am. The video quality is really good. I did post a video, Ooh. doing a video test. Very good resolution. So like drop more fr frames. Uh, well, that's fun. Video approved. I hope the Taylor Swift fan. Do you think they can upload their? They could easily thread their their point and shoot pictures. Point and shoot pictures. Yeah, I mean, go from the camera and then go home to your computer. USB it to your computer. Drag it to your desktop, and then from there, either like Google Drive it or AirDrop it to your. Um, phone and then from your phone then upload click, it to threads click yeah. Instagram and then click threads yeah and then, and then from there boom just like that yeah it's there Pretty you heard it here first <laughs> uh, Katie's still trying to figure out I mean look at her she's so confused I'm just looking they do give you a lot of people on here that you're not following and for those not watching on YouTube Katie has an actual um, needle and thread and she's <laughs> she's trying to I don't understand how you get followers she's trying to this. sew what she yeah. wants to say yeah it's is that Thomas? Yeah. yeah. Thomas is downstairs screaming. He's singing that train We just leave song. him and down. I hope he's all right. Well. <laughs> Thomas's new thing is he can roll over to stomach, but he can't roll to his back. And he loves to roll to stomach. So now when you lay him down. He's like a turtle. He just rolls to his stomach. He's very He's like a turtle. <laughs> yeah. He rolls to his stomach. Instantly. Within two seconds, you set yeah. him down. And then after five seconds, starts yelling like, I'm on my stomach. Help You're me. Stuck. And you roll him back. <laughs> and then he just. Okay. It's a new face. You want to go check, Katie? Yeah, I, can he, see, I can see it in your eyes. He's not a big uh, crier, but he's a big yeller. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of, I kind of respect him. He doesn't cry. He just hollers. Ah! <laughs> ah! That's what he does. All right, we're going to check on him. While you're doing that, uh, let's do. Let's get to a fan video. Again, get your tickets. And to all the shows, thank you. We got a lot of people selling great Boston showing out, selling Sweet. tickets. Sweet. Red Bank, New Jersey, dude. Boston. Something in the water in Red Bank. Only two shows in New Jersey, dude. So dumb. We, uh, yeah, so hit us with your fan DMs, 
fan video submissions in the DMs of Correct Opinions Instagram. Uh, what do we got? Hi, guys. My name is Maddie. Um, I'm from Kansas City, too. So oh. Town love. Go uh, Katie, congratulations on becoming a mom. <laughs> I have a two-year-old and a nine-month-old, and being Bragger. a mom is just the best. So welcome Such to the club. Gift. Such a gift. Jake, uh, congratulations on getting married. Thank you. By the time you watch this video... I think you might know what I hope you're still song married. was talking about. So, oh. congratulations on that, sheltered oh, kid. We haven't played any songs. Um, Derek Family Man, hello. And then Trey, my question is kind of for you. Um, what is a recti? I have been searching the podcast episodes and Googling. trying to listen to as many as you can, <laughs> but I have yet to find when you explain what that is. So I was personally tra team Tresadilla. Might be because I'm Mexican, but um, what the heck is a recti? And I uh, also wanted to say that my husband and I are looking forward to seeing you guys in Kansas City. Um, I think my baby might be in the white people wedding video. So really eager to... Oh, no. he is bueno. And just excited to laugh because we went and saw you guys in Wichita during your last tour and I don't need had a, a great story, time. Maddie. So really looking forward to seeing you all again in KC. This is longer and, than Miranda's song. Um, yeah. Love the podcast. Bring out a ukulele. <laughs> yeah, I, so, the ukulele helped. It's kind of it's kind of getting boring. God bless you guys. Bye bye. Okay, oh, God, God bless you, Maddie. Thank you. Uh, uh, thanks for all the kind words. I like the little subtle hint there. Yeah, she was at the uh, white people weddings video shoot. Cool. She, you don't she, know what she's talking about. That in there. Come to the show. Come to the show. See yeah. what the white people weddings all about. You come to the show anywhere on tour and if you saw or will see the crying baby on the video it's her baby yeah. it's at least half mexican yeah i didn't know that so <laughs> good edit it out <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. uh trace what's a recti it's really a mindset <laughs> it's much more than a namesake it's really can't be can't really be described it's a lot like do you guys remember what andrew tate was saying there for a while <laughs> It's it's very similar. It's just connect the dots. <laughs> he says connect the dots. What did that Uber driver say one time? He makes you think or something like that. He has a lot of good ideas. I don't know, man. Hey, people hate truth. <laughs> people hate truth. People are scared of what they don't know. Yeah. <laughs> hey, people are scared of the truth. Hey, you say you say the truth, people don't want to hear it. Uh, that's great. So that's kind of I hope that answers your question, Maddie. And excited to see you at the show. Thanks for coming to Witch Talk in City. Really means a lot. And coming out and helping out with the shoot. Your baby is a star. Uh, I don't know. She was also, I we like needed a crying yeah. baby. She's like, and she had a very chill, good little boy. And she's like, he's tough. But I remember she was waving. She's like, Hey, he's probably about to cry. He's getting hungry. He's about to cry. I was like, Derek, let's get it. Let's get it. And she was like, she was kind of like, I don't know. She was, she was like, kind of like <laughs> pinching her baby. Kind of like, come on, <laughs> cry. And she's like, he's such a good boy. I'm struggling. And she made her son cry for me. Well, I remember that. Cause she had honor. her boob out. And then she was like getting him close to it, but not letting him actually yeah. eat it. And then eventually he just lost it, which who wouldn't? Mm -hmm. And yeah, it works like a charm. It does. You got to dangle the carrot. <laughs> uh, but also, Maddie, if you don't, recti is just is like correct. E. E. Correct E. Recti. So, yeah. But Google it just to Butthole. be sure. What's the next one? <laughs> <laughs> That's all we got today because my Instagram doesn't work. Thanks to Threads. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> just spending uh, all this time on Threads now. I, get, I feel like. Yeah, my Instagram doesn't work. I can't load half the things on Instagram. That's a bummer. You missed out on so much Taylor Swift photos. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I actually did have a, quite a few friends I knew that I knew this we were posting. I was really wanted to see it. Dude, is sometimes your Instagram like halfway load, you get on some weird Wi-Fi, and it's like a gray image, but then it explains it to you. Like the word, like the metadata is on there. It happens no. very rarely, but you get an idea. Like it'll say like, um, it'll, it would say like girls at outdoor concert or something. Just for like a split second before the image That's loads. Creepy. It's only happened a few times, but it's like you get to see the back end data of like it knows yeah. what we're posting. Like 12 year old girl meetup, and you're like, I don't think I follow. Oh, <laughs> Miranda? No, my adult friends. Oh, okay. <laughs> I unfollow Colleen. <laughs> <laughs> what was Thomas's deal? Um, I don't know. He just is being fussy. But he's playing on the ground now. Oh, great. I have Love uh, playing on the ground. Not a fan video, but this is just a fan comment that someone commented this like on my way over here today. So we posted the clip of uh, the woman with her hands and hair, you know, yes, on the airplane yes. seat in front of you. Look like the dead body in a trunk. And um, this person, oh, it might be a, a, a man. Sorry, that was hard to get out. W2F is wrong with you guys. 
That's the seat she paid for. She is staying within the boundaries of said seat. What exactly is the problem? You have to look at another person's hands? Do you have a fingernail phobia? I'm admittedly the least patient, patient person when it comes to an airplane. No but way. But this? Get a life, guys. So I replied, be honest, were those your hands? <laughs> <laughs> You're the guy, huh? He's, yeah, he's just, he does, it's like his go-to every plane. Nothing more relaxing than kicking back and grab it. I'll, I'll argue with you, sir. The, so if you don't know what we're talking about, go to the correct minutes Instagram, refer to it. We talked about it last week. A woman in front of me had her hand on the back of her seat, a.k.a. the seat in front of me, had her hands all in my face. I beg to differ. You, if you pay for a seat, you pay for the front of the seat. You pay for 90 degrees, or 180 you don't degrees. You get the back of the seat. The only, back of the seat is mine. Only 90 degrees of the seat. You, yeah. you pay, <laughs> yeah, you pay for the front of your seat and the back of the seat in front of you. Yeah, everything. That's what I paid for. From the shoulder blades oh. forward is I, yours. I can, I can hang, you have those setups now. You can click your phone into the mm-hmm. thing. You can, uh, you have the tray. I'm paying for the back of the seat. That's my, and sir, I'm shocked to hear you're not a patient person. <laughs> It's crazy. But yeah, the back of the seat is yours. I mean, they they have storage there. You're supposed to put your things yeah. in the back of the seat. But if you're you reclined, you get less of that, too. So Ooh. are you guys pro or anti-reclining? Oh, I'm all for it. They let you recline. No, it's, it's not fine. like I came in and installed my own recliner. And when they recline on me, it's a two seconds of like, oh, I'm like, well, whatever. They can do that. <laughs> uh, yeah, this guy probably every plane he goes on, he's so confused. He put he stores his stuff in the back of his seat. All right, oh my uh, Air, AirPod case AirPod is back here somewhere. Sorry. Looking for the AirPod case. Oh my gosh! You remember one time I dropped my AirPods? I'm oh. an idiot, and I, and I didn't like. They were sitting on the armrest when we took off, and so then they slipped down. The behind. armrest of a plane. Well, well for context, we were. We were, uh, were we going to it Italy? Red, no, and it was a red eye. It was a red from, eye. Back from Hawaii. Why? You know, so I have crazy status and points because we tour all the country. So, so it was we, a good armrest. We had, yeah, yeah, we had nice the nice, armrest. like, yeah. Okay. Yeah. like the bed seats. So, I mean, okay. I was so pumped for this flight. <laughs> yeah. I, I wanted it to be 20 hours. I, I've never sat in those seats before. It was so fun. So they're big setups. Like a recliner. So she didn't just drop it like, excuse me, sir, can you get that? She dropped it into some like, deep void in yeah. one of these big beast <laughs> seats. So then there was like a man with his child behind us. And I was like, I'm so sorry. Like, do you see my AirPods? Like, are they under your seat back there? And he was like, no, let me look. And I mean, he started to dig and he is, <laughs> he is. Digging, Stanley digging, yelled at he's like, hold on. I see, I see it way down in here. Yeah. He's like being really nice. And I'm like, okay, thank you. So sorry. He finally gets them and comes back up and he's bleeding. <laughs> <laughs> I got scratched on the way out. It was like, oh my like, God. Uh, some barbed wire sorry. down there. <laughs> Put it on your AirPods. <laughs> I was like, I'm really sorry. And he's, he's like, bleeding. he's like, he, his wife is like across the aisle. He's like, do you have any like band aids or anything? Like, I was just like, I'm just going to turn around and <laughs> like, God. I was just, because the whole time, I mean, <laughs> I think every couple has this person that comes. I mean, every, every day, he's like, have you seen my phone? You see my AirPods? Yeah. Have you seen my wallet? I'm just like, I can't. So we're just gathering. She's all getting situated. She's like looking for this, can't find this. AirPods drops one. I'm just so frustrated. And now this guy is like, honey, I'm bleeding. You have a band aid. <laughs> yeah. And she's just like, mm. it's like, ah. Kitty, are you a, uh, like a, a dropper of things? Yes. No. <laughs> yep. I don't drop Big things. Big dropper spiller. Uh, you are a spiller. I haven't spilled in a long, long time. You really haven't, but. I had a weird spilling fit. You're dropper spiller. I, I walked so. in the kitchen the other day. There's corn nuts all over the ground. <laughs> Rachel drops six items a day, and not corn nuts. She's We're talking a dropper. Kindle, water bottle, a water bottle made of a drum set. It sounds like it's the loudest <laughs> thing I've ever heard in the world. Yeah, those, oh, those she, eight oh eights. There's the... nowhere she hasn't dropped her water bottle. It's amazing. Well, I haven't dropped our son, and you have. <laughs> <laughs> it's a quality of drops. <laughs> I'm just kidding. He has not dropped Thomas. I mean, uh, yeah, I kind of did. You, I mean, you know, you remember, right? Oh, when you cut it. Out on the, we were on with your family that week, and you dropped him in the airplane like, seat. I was kind of getting up, <laughs> and you know, your baby will surprise you. He moved, and he fell. He fell from my. I was like getting up off the ground with him, so he fell probably like eight inches onto the ground, but it was enough to startle him, and he let out a, Wah! and he, and I was kind of like, mm, and it was definitely a mom. Just she just runs in the room like. She just looked at me in a way where she was like, explain what's happening. She's like, what happened? Like, I don't know. He's hungry. Yeah. He, well, you know, you know, that's how he cries when he's hungry. <laughs> <laughs> and I said to be like, I kind of dropped him. Uh, it was a terrible feeling. 
Jeez. And today I did a bit. I don't know. Uh, she was like, hand them to me. I did kind of like a, ooh, I'm going to drop them. And she just, of course, she, I mean, it looked like she almost had a heart attack. I was like, I don't know why I did that. I'm that sorry. was not funny. <laughs> not funny. That was a, whoa, I almost, whoa, whoa, whoa. almost dropped them and caused permanent damage. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, not funny. I'm amazed how few times parents drop babies. I always think of that. We're holding them all the time. Going upstairs, running around town. Surprised there's not more dropped babies. There's got to be a higher frequency of dropped babies if they're missing a limb. Because I think that's what helps. That Slips, is, grab an arm. That's Slips, like, grab that's a like leg. That's like those wrestlers who have no legs and they always win. People yeah. are like, how are they doing this? Well, think about it. They're born so, to I mean, be tough. Ho- yeah. Tough to <laughs> grapple that. Yeah. That's why. Um, Problem solved. That's why the, that Indian girl with eight arms, no one ever dropped her. Tatma, Tatma. <laughs> tatma, Tatma. <laughs> wow. Never drop a drop. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Smartest girl in the world. <laughs> Solving group cube really fast. People don't know if it's intelligence or just the amount of just fingers. Dexterity. Yeah. yeah. Just eight X the time. Four well, X. Speaking of Math. Are you challenged? I am. I hate same. <laughs> and what I don't want to be challenged on is hiring. Hiring's already tough enough, man. I know. I, you, sir. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm just sorry. challenged. Yeah. You need a hiring partner that can help you rise to the challenge. You need Indeed. Indeed is the hiring platform where you can attract, interview, and hire all in one place. Instead of spending hours on multiple job sites searching for the right candidates, um, Indeed's powerful hiring platform can help you do it all. I use I use Indeed to hire some great people. Really helped us out. They have Instant Match. Um, over 80% of employers get quality candidates with Instant Match, whose resume on Indeed matches their job description the moment they sponsor a job, according to Indeed Data US. I've been looking to use Indeed to hire some people. I need video editing work, and also I would like someone to peel the sunburnt skin off my back. Mm. So I don't know if that's two positions or one, but I'm going right. to use Indeed. Yeah, Indeed. They'll help you out, at least with the first one. Uh, <laughs> they Indeed, they help, they help you get one step closer to hire by immediately matching you with quality candidates with um, with their tools, the Instant Match. It's really, really powerful. It's really helpful. So, uh Guys, make sure you go get Indeed. So start hiring now with a $75 sponsored job credit to upgrade your job post at Indeed.com slash Trey. Offer good for a limited time. Claim your $75 credit now at Indeed.com slash Trey. Do you need to know the URL again? I'll tell you. Just go to Indeed.com slash Trey and support the show by saying you heard about it first on this podcast. Indeed.com slash Trey. Terms and conditions apply. Need to hire. You need Indeed. Oh, yeah. You notice how I'm sitting today? It's a little uh, lighter. That's right. Not only am I confident, but I'm also really clean. Oh. Specifically underneath me. Because I use a little bidet from Hello Tushy, baby. Ooh, Hello Tushy. Uh, it's a bidet that cleans your bum two times better than wiping and prevents poo particles from spreading to your hands and everything else you touch. If you guys have come to one of our shows, I, you know, I dare you to find another comedian in America talking about bidets more than me on, on a stage right now. Dare you. I dare you to find one. He's I love the him. king of bidets. <laughs> uh, the Hello Tushy bidet, it attaches to your existing toilet. No, Easy. It requires no additional plumbing, electricity. Uh, and by the way, it cuts toilet paper use about 80%. Whew. A lot more if you're me, because I, <laughs> it's like a dry erase marker. Down there. <laughs> That's right. Do you know it also, you leave the marker at home because it comes with a 60-day risk-free guarantee. Woo, so and, get risky. And a 12-month warranty. Uh, they have over 100,000 five-star reviews. So what are you waiting for? Hello Tushy Bidet. Go to hellotushy.com forward slash correct and use promo code correct to get 10% off plus free shipping on your first bidet order. That's hellotushy.com slash correct for 10% off. Wow, Jake has a clean crack. <laughs> they asked us to say that. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, that's that in was there. in there. Yeah. Speaking of <laughs> comments, um, last week we um, <clears throat> they asked if you guys could just gas me up in the comments. Oh yeah, Katie's a nine. Some people did. Such an easy nine. Um, <laughs> it was a solid nine, not easy nine. But um, <laughs> yeah, not easy. <laughs> but um, nine. Yeah, a couple people did. One person, did, very sweet, listed. Listed out some things. <clears throat> she included tall as one of those. Um, what kind of things? Um, a tall compliment, tall. Yeah. Hair. Um, she, she has hair past her she shoulders. Said it was kind <laughs> and incredible, extraordinary, tall, absolutely amazing. Very, very sweet. Thank she you so much. much. Wow. Um, I just always think it's funny because I have gotten tall as a compliment before, and I just feel like it's kind of just like a like a descriptor more so than like a... Yeah, it's not really a compliment. It's like, you're white. Yeah. Yes, yeah. I am. I do like being tall. So, I mean, I'm not, I'm oh, okay. not against it, but okay. it was funny. And then the other one um, was... Um, she kind of has catfish beauty. 
Like, <laughs> like she, someone said that. Yes, like she modeled for Getty Images. I don't know how those two things are related. <laughs> Modeling for Getty, which that doesn't make sense. You don't model for Getty. Im- yeah, Hold that's on. like somewhere, paparazzi, basically. Somewhere on Tinder, someone's impersonating our Catherine. Oh, <laughs> not her name. What an awesome comment. I honestly, I forgot about catfishing being a thing. I no. thought that was purely no, I think the she, fish with no, whiskers. No, I think she means the fish. The fish <laughs> that creeps along the bottom yes. of a lake. Like a catfish. It is that catfish model. Ooh, kind of like maybe I got like a facelift or something. Oh, I would love to yeah. go canoodling with Katie. Oh. She's got that catfish vibe Gosh. here. Just stick your fist yeah. in the hole and see what you pull out. <laughs> Pure beauty. That's a real. That's my type of beautiful woman. You find her deep in the nooks and crannies. Good. Eating crap. <laughs> that lake old lake beauty so man i forgot about catfishing being a word okay i get it now <laughs> very um very kind i've never gotten made that i was maybe like a getty images model getty images yeah. I mean, i'm that, confused by that part of it <laughs> really. that's like saying you gosh you're a beautiful woman your modeling belongs in uh, hobby lobby frame yeah exactly. <laughs> Exactly. That's exactly. Wow, like, you're a looker. <laughs> Thank you. The, the, the things that you okay. never look at, they're just like, <laughs> there's just like a prop behind. Thank you, sir, ma'am, whoever you are. I will wow. say, horse girl, Anna Buffini, this is, this is some gas here. Katie, she says, Katie literally makes me less scared to have a baby because of how good she looks just weeks after having one. Oh. Thank you, Anna. Well, Anna has been months. Yep. Yeah, it she's, she's, been yeah. It's, it's been but a thank while. Thank you. <laughs> Just go back to those recent episodes. Just double check. Horse girl, she's gonna, get, she'll have a baby real easy. Just, I got it. Yeah. Okay. It's like just that. Mo- <laughs> no. <laughs> that <makes sense. laughs> you're just doing this on a horse a lot, and you, so it, you're, she's used to. You to what? To just that motion of okay, like gravity done. down. We're here comes. Done. Here, we're here done. Comes. We're I done. don't see it. That makes perfect sense. And Anna, let me just say, be the first to say, you've got that horse beauty. Just like Katie's got mm-hmm. catfish. Beautiful. Thomas is crying. He, okay. heard, he heard the horse okay. part. Yeah, sorry, buddy. All yeah. right, I'm going to... You're going to go. Take a break. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so that, that's enough company, Katie. I think we get the picture. Man, rough day for Thomas. Dang. Thomas needs to get back on his back. <laughs> I mean, seriously. Um a lot of great comments. Keep them coming. I guess I saw the Spotify or the what did the Spotify ad read? I said, "That's the sale of a new sound." <laughs> <laughs> you hear that? that out. <laughs> sale of a new sound. Mm-hmm. We were. Uh, I was hanging out with some buddies. Grabbed lunch. Shout out Baba's Pantry. Ever heard of this place? <laughs> no, Baba's. Oh, Baba's little home, um, little uh, family-run place, Mediterranean. Ooh. Great people. They gave me a free bottle of olive oil. They said they're fans. Very nice people. All right. So, yeah. Come on over if you want to oil up something. <laughs> oil up something. Uh, we were joking around. Um, I don't know if you've experienced this with Rachel. This this hits harder when you get farther along or maybe even kids. But I feel like guys, it, guys days, guys events, guys are, I feel like guys are so good at planning them, doing them. I've had to really start. I was like, Katie, when are you going to hang out with the girls? Like, you need to, I'm happy to watch Thomas. They just won't plan it. And then they get frustrated that we're always hanging with the guys when we make moves to plan it. You have iMessage. Yeah. Have do, you, do you guys experience this? I would say yes. I already I, do. I, this morning I forced Katie. I was like, before, before you say anything else, text three friends in a group text and say, let's hang out sometime and then show me the text. You're doing it. And she did it. They're making it happen. <clears throat> because I, I was well, I was going to lunch with friends. And two several of us there said, as we showed up, our wives jokingly, which, you know, truth behind the joke, we're like, off to see the boys again, huh? <laughs> Multiple guys said yeah. that. Yeah. So I'm just there to say, I just wonder if people experience that. Ladies, we want you to, we want you to go do the thing. Have a healthy, you know, healthy relationship. Our theory is that because girls, girls put so much pressure on the the getting ready and the What's the theme? And then, guys, the theme is just show up, hanging, put your Crocs on, and sit on the couch. <laughs> just hang. That's the theme. That's the theme. I feel like guys are definitely better when it comes to hanging in a in a group. Where like <laughs> girls are probably much more likely to like one on one. Hey, you and I, let's grab coffee. You and I, let's go on a walk. But it's it's a lot more difficult for them to plan like a eight person group girl hang. I don't yeah. know if that's ever happened actually. 
No, I don't think they do that. I don't know if that it does exist. But like guys, it's like, oh yeah, we can get eight of us together. Like a drop of a hat. No problem. Easy. That's two tea times. Do whatever. That's one living room for us, you know, NFL Sunday football. We did uh Oh, I can't believe I almost forgot about this. This past weekend, I ran a half marathon in the backyard. Oh, yeah. How was uh, that? <laughs> um, pretty cool. <laughs> Wait, I should send send you this, Derek. Okay. You can show the people. This is. I thought this is kind of You got footage of you? Not footage, but a nice little just recap. My Nike run app. Uh, oh, okay. I, I thought about post making a whole thing. I didn't. But we, I, you know, they're nice enough to let me run in the morning. So we all got together at 8 a.m. and do... Some of these dudes, I had to bow out for a bit because I have a baby, but several dudes hung out from like 8 a.m. to 1 a.m. Wow. That's just being a dude, man. Girls <laughs> don't do that. Dudes will do that. Just sit here and hang out all day. That is a marathon. Yeah, look at look at this. There's the recap. <laughs> okay, so is the green is everywhere you ran? The green is just a circle <laughs> like 300 times. You went into the house once, it looks like, I to thought, grab something. There was a quick, there was a quick, uh, <laughs> uh, I was running circles in the backyard and he has like a side gate that kind of goes out to the front of the yard. Okay. And I, uh, cause there's no rules. So I just got to be in the property. I was like, I might need to sh- switch up here. And so I tried running out the gate and back. I did it once. I was like, ah, that's not it. It's not so the I re- move. I re- returned to the route. <laughs> that's awesome. Okay, let's see, see what we're working with here. So elevation gate. You still gain some elevation. I and guess a little, a few feet here and there. That was a tiny. It adds up. Yeah, adds up. Cadence 146. I don't have no idea what cadence means. That's a, a guy who is there. Yeah, his name's Cadence. Yeah. He's there for you know, 146 two. chips. That's <laughs> two hours and 26 minutes. Okay, you burned 1,300 calories. Half marathon, a little under three hours. And you ran 13.11. A little extra, I guess. Not bad. Yeah, <laughs> uh... I I really want to so yeah my I also underestimated kind of his backyard it, it definitely wasn't a perfect circle it was like <laughs> I had to like go around this little tree mm. and then go he had this weird kind of like what used to be a shed kind of cement foundation so I had to hop over a thing like 300 times jeez oh. <laughs> and come around and then I it was like a backyard it wasn't a perfect like so it was like dirt, right, yeah. so I rolled each ankle probably six times yeah, if you, I'm sure you learned a lot. Like, if you had to do this again, what would you do differently? What would you tell other people after? I this? did get so lucky. I don't know if you remember Saturday. It was weirdly like oh, yeah. 65 yeah. degrees. That was nice. It's 95 degrees today. So so hot. That made it way easier. But uh, I don't. It really. I've been running, and enjoying running, and I think in a weird way, I like got in a rhythm where it was just like, yeah, I just have to run this circle 300 times. Just kind of go. 50 more laps. Yeah. I, you start to learn about 22 was a mile. Okay. You just kind of keep track. All right. Taylor Swift, put that song on. I listened to some podcasts and it was, uh, I really want someone else to experience it because I, <laughs> I, I do think it was, uh, I've only done one like race. I did a half Ironman like 10 years ago, which I've struggled to really recall. I mean, and I was so young, but it was, I just wonder how much harder a, Half marathon in a backyard is than just a regular half marathon. <laughs> I don't know. I'd imagine quite a bit harder, but it's also a great. I don't know if you have you ever done a long race. No, I haven't. It's just a great. Like with anything you complete, that's hard. It's just kind of a. You, I sat there with my. They sat there and like grilled out like breakfast tacos and chilled while I ran around them for three hours. Yeah, and I sat down and I just like. You one, you just kind of feel awesome. Like, yeah, I, I wasn't like, oh my gosh, I can breathe. Felt pretty good. I housed like six talk. I mean, you're just <laughs> so famished. It just felt kind of great. And we hung out that night. Good cadence. It was a great, a great last place punishment. All right. But I do wonder, we have half the league are like really out of shape guys. Oh, so I wonder. They would not have felt accomplished. It might have taken them f- five hours. I mean, just unless they trained and stuff. But because everyone has a few fat friends like they. Yeah. I don't know what they would do. <laughs> if they got last yeah, that's too bad do you think you you got another <laughs> half iron man in you i would love to do some more of those it's just kids and tour and everything i don't know I, it would have to be like a some time off non-tour time yeah so you'd have to train a good bit and it's a whole weekend event but it is doing those races like the whole atmosphere stuff is fun you as like much you like getting more. the number stuck to you yeah. or on your calves but it was good too. I should share it because when I shared a bit from the Are You Feel special about like your half marathon, that's not bragging. Like, 
moms do that on accident in Disneyland. I got a bunch of comments like, here's a guy who's clearly never done one before. Yeah, do one in a backyard. Yeah. <laughs> so I'd love to post about yeah, hunting in a backyard and like really wasn't, I mean, it, it was hard, but it's not, it wasn't like I was like, how am I possibly going to finish this? It was just Spray halfway through, down. I was like, this is going to suck for another hour and a half. But <laughs> Is there anyone? I will say when I finished that, though, the, the thought of like 26 was like that would be like I've never made fun of anyone for bragging about a marathon. That's that's where you get into just like I'm like, dude, my my knee's going to explode if I am like mile 19. Yeah, I don't know how Rachel ran a half marathon and finished it. <clears throat> you know, no problem. But she's like the idea of running 26. It feels like humans aren't really supposed to do that. I think not without I think some kind well of steroid shot. That, like <laughs> this is very that hard on your body. Yeah. Is there anyone who has footage of you running around? I would love to see you just jogging around. Yeah, just I for think, a second. Yeah, I need to find it. Um, let me text some friends. I think there are some videos. Okay. I'll text text the guy. I would love to see that. Yep, yep. Um, real quick, just on the way up here, I passed a truck uh, that had a bumper sticker that said Ultra MAGA. I've never seen that before. Ultra? What's Ultra? Ultra? Well, I don't know. I When I went RFK up to pass him... Uh, when I looked, I was like, I want to see who drives this. It was Derek Sand. Driving, <laughs> oh, driving the car. You know, I have, I got a video. I, I got a video of Derek Sand. I was actually helping her out with some content. <laughs> Great. I mean, she's family. He's family man, family. So uh, if we could pull her up here. Dang, that's um, cool. We both ran into her. She's good on camera. Really? She's got a good energy to her. Wait, but, you didn't um, send it to me. Without social media, she's still pretty good. Oh, I haven't texted her to you? No. Let me, let me get you. Um, yeah, she's not on it, but she's on it. Does that make sense? I texted <laughs> you. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, it was a text. It's the old link. Uh, it was on Instagram because we're just trying to build her following up. Ultra MAGA. Ultra MAGA Mama is her at. Corona, right? Corona. Corona is six letters. When you use Dematria and you say A is one, B is two, C is three, Demetria. and you put Corona lined out at six, six. So that's six, six, six. But we found that out. So they're saying the white wing crazies found it out so they changed it to COVID-19 <sighs> which is C what is this C right the C. C yeah Ovid look it up Ovid means sheep 19 military code for surrender <gasps> C sheep surrender that's no I'm joke so, wow that I, that is actually the first I've heard of that when it came out it was corona <laughs> I like that a lot. I, I would like to hear more of what she has to say. <clears throat> see? Hey, see? See? No, you can't see. Mm. Like me. Can we get a, um, so we get some confirmation on the Ovid meaning? I love I love the thought of like whatever like um, you know, the the 10 most powerful men in a room like here's the plan, the COVID. <laughs> And now here's the here's the best part. You, you, you we all know the 666. We've all done it. It's yeah, classic. I mean, that's Sematria. Yeah. Me and my so, wife have been doing that. I mean, this how we'll do it. She's Ovid means sheep. Uh, that's one. Ovid is a male name of a Latin meaning sheep herder. Like, okay. Um, I'm sold. Ovid. It's an old Latin term meaning sheep. And let's put a C in front of it because we all C. C. And then 19, that didn't have anything to do with 2019, the year. No. That was all about, <laughs> what did she say? That's why that, that's why I'll go over their head. What, what does it mean? It means surrender in like military code. Oh, well, duh. See sheep surrender. I'm gonna type in 19 in. I feel like if you're gonna military code. gonna create like a worldwide pandemic to control people, you wouldn't want to like put a little clue in the name, right? Wouldn't that be? Why would you do? Why that? Why would you do that? That'd no one is making this. Isn't a children's story. Gosh, you don't Anna have to crack it. Now she won't wear a mask. <laughs> Shoot. That come it. This is pretty funny. If you Google 19 in military code, the top result is this article that says. The title of the article says, COVID-19 does not mean see sheep surrender. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We have been building building. Sea was, sheep surrender. Yeah. That was an article written in June of 2020. So she was on it pretty quick. Um, Didn't they? I actually don't know this. I'm just guessing. Did we change it from Corona to COVID? Because we were like, because Corona beers, like business probably. fell apart. <laughs> like, literally their sales tanked. It's amazing how that like messes with. The mind. And I feel like that was part of it. They're probably, can we, can we not do the corona thing? I think also coronavirus is not specific enough. True. It, uh, it's like a more of an umbrella term. Yeah, because like remember like the back of Lysol, you know, talks about coronavirus stuff. Yeah. It only it only means like evil things. Like evil sheep. It only means evil kind of evil demon stuff as a whole. And we need 
It's a kind of more like surrender sheep. Dude, I kind of really like the idea, like us doing like a uh, like an exercise. Like you give me something of mm-hmm. this world, I give you, and then we have to like make it be the craziest thing. Like, you know, okay, you take the second word of each of both of the, you know, this letter, that letter, would be kind of fun. Just create it a would conspiracy be. theory. I'm down. Um, this article says the word sh- for sheep in Latin is ovus, not ovid. So close. But it, ovid means sheep herder. So. I, a sheep herder is the opposite of a sheep, right? I mean, that's our government. A sheep herders. See, the sheep herders surrender. <laughs> oh, the and sheep herders have Aunt to Linda, surrender. <laughs> she's not, she's a, she is the herder, and she'll never surrender. Honestly, the more I look into it, the more I think she nailed it. She got it. Good job, Follow Linda. Her. Thanks, Linda. Got to get... Uh, <laughs> uh, speaking of more conspiracy, this or that, I, I'm sure you've seen the... Uh, this movie really making the rounds. What's it called? Sound, Sound of, Freedom. of Freedom. No, tell me about it. Really? Yeah. Sorry. Not it's on Twitter. An algorithm. It's uh, it's a. It's not a documentary. At first, I thought it was a documentary. It's a fictional movie based on true events. You know, the based on true events. I don't know to what extent, but it's like a a, a hero guy who's gonna going out to stop the child sex traffickers. Okay. And. Um, and of course, it's just been politicized immediately. Where okay. then, of course, people are aggressively like, everyone needs to go see this. Look at what's happening. It's so bad. And then other people being like, well, <laughs> it's not all really that true. And it was put out by a conservative place. So it's true. I don't even know why it's controversial. It's just a movie about like how child sex trafficking is bad. Does anyone agree, disagree with that? Okay. Interesting. Um, but uh, people seem to enjoy it. Sound of Freedom. Are you going to go see uh, Oppenheimer and Barbie? Oppenheimer? Not Barbie. When's Oppenheimer come out? I think two weeks. We can have. Is that soon? Yeah. People are can... That's Christopher Nolan. Oh, yeah. That's why everyone's excited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I mean, we just dropped a huge bomb on Japan. Yeah. It was, I think Americans so are big. excited about that. Yeah, it's, it's kind of, it is a little concerning we're that excited to watch that. I do think it'll be interesting. I did a project oh, on sure. it in eighth grade. I want to com- contrast and compare how. Christopher Nolan's version is compared to like PowerPoint. Like a historical fiction movie, yes? Yeah. Yeah. Um, anyway. Some more comments from last week. Uh, someone said, what's wrong with Yahoo email? I've had one since college. Uh. Yeah, I saw a couple of 34-year-old woman here, Yahoo. That's a little young for Yahoo. Yeah. I don't know what's going Maybe on there. Older. Shelter girl. Bunch of people calling me out. I got, I got Rocket Man and Piano Man mixed up. Okay. So John plays the piano every day of his life. So it's not crazy to think he would have piano man. Piano man. Yeah. Burning, da, 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 da. yeah, that sounds good to me. And then this other one real quick. Someone says, uh, Pay me a song, old rocket man. <laughs> <laughs> I love that the bit. The guy who can't get him straight. They're, just, they're so close. They both play the, the piano. The rocket man doesn't play you a song. <laughs> I thought, okay, oh, I thought okay. it was a I guess that makes different sense. perspective. He's the rocket man. Um, this person says, "What? This is when we were talking last episode about how people are always so upset when we're not coming there." This person says, "What about New York? I'd even take Buffalo, which is where we're going." Yeah, we're going. Just we're, luck. Yeah, um, luck. We're trying so hard to tell you. She says, "I've had long COVID slash pots. I don't know what pots is." She has long sea sheep. <laughs> <laughs> long sea uh, sheep slash president of the states. It's, it's in all caps. I don't know what POTS is. I'm sorry you have POTS. But she's had it for 18 months, and the one thing that would help me cheer up and save up energy to go would be a tray show. Help Whoa. a sick person out and just bring laughter near my house. Just saying. E- we're coming to Buffalo. Yeah, we're coming. So. If, it's, if it's contagious, don't come. But <laughs> if it's not, I'm sorry, and please come. A POTS is post- postural orthostatic. What, this, this and dinosaurs. Easier names. <laughs> Diseases and dinosaurs, easier name. Can we? You just call dinosaurs just yeah, specks and sporks, one syllable, something Postural easy. Postural orthostatic ta- tachycardia syndrome. Tachy. Um. Re- excessively reduced volume of blood returns to the heart after individual stands up from a lying down position. Sounds like maybe she gets lightheaded easily. Dang, it's a bummer that that's an illness when it, the abbreviation is POTS. Yeah, that's pot- kind of cool. Pots, right. Pots, saying you have pots, you're like, no. I mean, you want to smoke it here? Or <laughs> yeah, it's legal now. 
Yeah. When you stand up. You're like, no, it makes you lightheaded. It's like, me too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you get paranoid? Do you get paranoid? No. Not, not about the pot. That does that does suck. If you're if the acronym for your disease is dope, it's kind of sick. If it's literally, if dope. it's dope, I have dope. Shh, dude. <laughs> it's not legal here. It is legal in Missouri, which is crazy. Dope, dope is that's sick. That's what the, that's what you're supposed to call it. Dope. Yeah, I think that's what people like my uncle's age. Yes, doing dope, <laughs> dope smoking. Uh, here's something just real quick. Has Katie ever said to you like is unsolicited Rachel told me just gave me her blessing to be with someone if something ever happens to her we got to hang out with someone she's like man she was awesome oh if something happens to her if anything ever happens to me I want you to I want you to date her I did that to Katie's like a bit I was like I want you to help you find the greatest guy when I die before you (laughs) stop (laughs) wow just just letting you know I don't know if you guys ever got that before but I already yeah um, good to know. I have some. I have my eyes on somebody. Yeah, no kidding. You're like mm, Plan B. Yeah. If Rachel gets pots. Did Rachel set a time frame of how much the window is for you? Oh, I, like I need to wait yeah. a while. Oh, yeah. that's a good point. No, we haven't went over that yet. No, we have that. Yeah. How long's your your window? I think it has to be a year and a half or something like that. That seems so. reasonable. It's a good amount of grieving. Yeah. I asked Katie. I was like, what if? What if? You know, God forbid. Like the week of, I text one of your friends, you up. <sighs> Would that bother you? You say, God forbid, like you can't help it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I would just be more. God forbid so I much. slip and I, I just grab it and it's, I say, you what? If, I, if you're at your service, I hit on your sorority sister. Would that upset you, the dead you? <laughs> <laughs> would that be okay with you? Yeah, we haven't talked about that very much. I thought you were saying at first, what I thought you were saying is uh, growing up shelter. You ever heard of the old, uh, or a youth pastor? You got up there, he's like, you guys. We believe in forgiveness so much. My wife told me the other day, you could cheat on me. And I'd never, I'd, I'd forgive you. Oh. I thought that's what you were saying at first. You ever heard that back in the day? I, uh, yeah. No, not really. <laughs> no, really? I feel like that's an old, real intense. Hey, no matter what. No matter divorce what. Divorce is never an option. I'm yeah. serious. You go, you go drown a litter of puppies. I'm <laughs> staying. Maybe I, I have thought, heard that. Yeah. Wouldn't be surprised, but we have not talked about that. We were not talking about cheating being, well, being an option. Well, circle back on that. Yeah. And let me know if she would be cool with that. <laughs> 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 or if that would upset her. Yeah. <laughs> I just remember that. I don't know. Um, well, yeah. Hope just best of luck on the second wife. Yeah. I'll let you know if something happens to Rachel, tragically. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that would suck. Yeah, keep me posted I'll on let that. you know. <laughs> be, that would be a bummer for sure. You'll be sure, like probably top sure. 30 people who find out. Yeah, so. I just, I can't. Yeah, we'll be at the funeral. I'll be like, hey, at least you can, you're back in the game. Remember what you told me earlier? I'm sure the Rectis are pumped. <laughs> <laughs> Wants to figure out what that means. <laughs> I know. That's, that is, you start getting your 30s, start thinking about dying, I guess. It's on crazy. Rachel's mind. Just, yeah. All right, let's wrap up with uh, segments. Let's get to the segments part of the segments part of the episode. <laughs> The, that segment. Can't make it any clearer than that. The segment with the segments. You guys had segments? Yeah. Uh, so we have a new segment alert because we have a new sponsor alert. Look Ooh. out. Good Ranchers. That is right. Um, we have a new segment called um, Chicken. Yeah. How are you a chicken this week? Sponsored by Good Ranchers. Uh, because Good Ranchers, they make chicken. They have, they have meat too. And so we're going to tell you about it. Please support the show. Guys, who doesn't love meat? And we have a great deal for how you get some for cheap. And so Good Ranchers, um, did you know this? The FDA just approved lab-grown chicken for sale. Meat formed in a bioreactor will soon be coming to a store near you. Um, and, you know, the, we all know there's a bunch of crazy weird stuff in a lot of the, our grocery stores. And Good Ranchers is trying to combat that. They are, prefer, they are making real meat grown in a pasture. They sell real meat from real animals, uh, and they sell the best meat in the country. Uh, from steakhouse quality cuts of beef to better than organic chicken, everything Good Rancher sources is from local farms in America. It really is great. I, a hundred percent of the chicken that Rachel and I have had in our house the last like three or four months has been Good Rancher's chicken. 
It's really, really good. And yeah, it's all, it's just, it's patriotic chicken is what it is. Wow. <laughs> Aunt, I mean, Aunt Linda. <laughs> Are you kidding it me? All, it starts, ends, it's all in the United States. Really cool. Uh, so you say, Real Meat, they, they started this company because the Real Meat, they, they felt like it was under attack. The store is less trustworthy than ever. And Good Ranchers is a place you know you're getting good, high quality, delicious meat. So head on over to GoodRanchers.com and use our code FAMILYMAN. That's right. All yes. one word, Family Man, to get $30 off your first box. Uh, they have over 14,000 five-star reviews. You can confidently Oof. pick the perfect box for you. Plus, lock in your price for two years when you subscribe today. $30 off and a price lock guarantee. Just two more things lab-grown meat can offer. They cannot offer it or any other meat for that matter. So lock in your price. Save 30 bucks. Go to GoodRanchers.com and use code FAMILYMAN. <laughs> American meat delivered. Awesome. All right, so, so they sell chicken. chicken. Oh, yep. yeah. They sell chicken? How are you chicken? Uh, just a real quick chicken story. I post on my Instagram. I got to be A1 on Southwest. Uh, Whoa. Yeah, because normally we fly together. It doesn't really matter when I check in because you're A-list, we're companions, but you took a different flight home from Atlanta. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, I'm C22, so I paid to upgrade, which normally is you know near the top, but never A1. I was so fired up. And someone cut in front of me, and I was too chicken to say anything to him. <laughs> <laughs> How did you get a glimpse of what their ticket was? No, but I didn't need to know. I know they're behind me. And when you're A1, you have all the confidence in the world. He was in head-to-toe military garb. Jake's like, screw this guy. Hey. hey. He's, he's got a walking stick. Uh, excuse me. Now you can hear. Uh, back in the line. <laughs> a single mom. She was like a kid, a baby strapped to her and a kid. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, let me see A1. It. Let me see it. Yeah, A2. Yeah. Uh, two of you behind me. Thanks. Katie, we're doing the new Good, Good Rancher segment, Chicken, about how you were a chicken this past week. Be thinking if you have a story about how you were a chicken. Oh, I thought you were telling me how, I thought you were saying how you were a chicken last week. Oh, how was I a chicken? No, I thought you were telling me. Oh. <laughs> like, I thought you were saying that you were dressed up as a chicken last week. Oh, sorry, sorry. I thought we were dressing up as chickens this week. <laughs> I had a funny little chicken moment where I was out at a, at a bar with friends. It's it kind of a new bar. It was really fun. Oh, that reminds me. And... Um, Couple bros come up, show me a lot of love. Really nice, dude. Like, I have something to say about this. Um, it was funny because it was a very hipster bar. Like most people there have on tattoos and stuff. And there's these two dudes look like they just go off the golf course. They're like Trey. Okay. They're super nice guys. Like I gotta buy you a shot, man. I got to, man. That's I got so to. Funny. And I was just like, okay. And he's being really nice. Like, dude, you're a great comedian. He's like, any preference? And I was like, yeah, you pick, man. You pick whatever. And he goes, Vegas bombs. <laughs> but if you don't know what those are, it's like whatever vodka or something dropped and do like a whole glass of red bull and i'm in my head i'm just Ew. like dude what are we are i was we thinking it's like a quick, one? A quick like, tequila yeah get it over just, it. And, I, and i was too chicken i was just like you did it sounds good <laughs> well hold on <laughs> goodrangers.com let's do this yeah i had a uh, hipster bar the way the bartender comes over he's he's tattoos on his neck gauges i mean just hipster guy and, and uh, this frat boy goes two vegas bombs and the bartender goes I'm not going to make this. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, yes. He's like, just try. I'm going to make you something much better. And he, of course, he whipped up something that tasted like fruit punch. And I said, thanks. And went on my way. And, um, but yeah, I was too chicken. And, uh, the hipster bartender <laughs> saved me. So, I loved it. Just a frat dude. It's some uh, weird, like hipster bars. They were playing like folk music in the corner. He's like Vegas bombs. The guys like, I'm not making those. Did you hear? Uh, yeah. Mumford is on. It's on vinyl right now. Yeah. I don't even him. have Red Bull there. Well, I, yeah. I think that was yeah probably really part of it. He he really also spun it as like like why would you even think we would serve such a thing? <laughs> um, what what did it make you think? So of? Uh, probably a couple hours ago, I get a text from Gunner, uh, one of my good friends. You know Gunner, and he said there's a conversation going on right next to me um, at, at work. Uh, my coworkers are talking about buying shots for Trey Kennedy. <laughs> I knew it was related. The way you were laughing, I was, I was like, like, this is this crazy. Is, that's so, funny. That is wild. Wow. Right um, They're good, nice working guys. He didn't say he joined in, didn't say he knew you or anything. He just said it's pretty funny to listen to. So I would, yeah, you have to ping your back. Say, did they, they talk about how he was, they wouldn't do Vegas bombs? <laughs> oh. It's so funny that like, dude, you made their weekend. That's all you had to do. Just take a shot with them. They're talking about it at work on Monday morning. They're so fired up. I know. The shot is, shots is weird because I don't, I'm 30. I don't take shots, but they came. I hadn't really had much to drink, and so I was just like, "What?" Well, I mean, this, he was fired up to do it. It was very nice. I don't know. I'm gonna come on, man. Your favorite comedian, whatever. And then he goes Vegas bombs. Like, oh. I'm like, I, I'm literally, I'm so old. I'm thinking like the Red Bull's gonna keep me up. 
That's why I was like, you took that? <laughs> I, I was so grateful we did it. I, I was chicken. I was too chicken, sponsored by Good Ranchers, to, <laughs> to say no, but I was saved. You're like, Vegas bombs. Can you make my Red Bull sugar free? <laughs> There's like a low, Just, low caffeine version. <laughs> something light you go to a restaurant hey what do you have for red i love the taste of red bull don't like the caffeine you know just a caffeine free red bull like, really you yeah, ever, love touring you ever had to do this i used to take pride back in the day when you know people especially when you're in more pop and bar and i've had times where there's like four different people want to buy me shots I'm like i can't i'm you have to I mean, drag me out of here you can't <laughs> so and you don't want to be rude and I, so i've done i've done quite a few different technique techniques of kind of like oh thanks i'll have like a beer or some uh-huh. drink Take the shot and <laughs> spit it into the can. Throw it away. Done wow. that a few times. I've done a, I've done in a crowd enough bar and a crazy enough crowd of place. I've done the old over the shoulder. Just throw it. So yeah, I've done the I've Mamba Bird Katie a few times. Yeah, I've seen that. I'll hold it and run over to her. That Take, has never happened. So a lot of good techniques. <laughs> that has never happened. I remember K- Katie once she finally had Thomas. She was like, "Ooh, now I can we can Mama Bird again." <laughs> I feel like, wait, what? She's like, nothing, nothing. <laughs> I am cringing. We do some, <laughs> we do some tray bombs. <laughs> tray bombs. <laughs> tray bombs. <laughs> do you have any uh, family man or Katie? Do you have any chicken moments of the week, or were you courageous? Were you a? Were you were you woman? I, I am woman. The segment um, is called woman or woman. chicken. Woman or chicken? Which were you? I am. I am woman. Woman. Derek, how many? I was chicken with my wife. She had on her shows all weekend. Um, so sat there and watched it, and it was below deck. And then below it, deck, the the reality show about like boat workers. Yeah, yeah, nice. big yacht workers. And Seaman. I ended up watching two seasons of it in the <laughs> weekend. So it's pretty chicken. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Dang, wow, he deserves a steak. Holy cow! Yeah, get that guy some meat. <laughs> That's why he's the promo code. Tonight, honey, tonight we're watching Joe Rogan. I'm eating three steaks. <laughs> Watch it, Katie. You were a woman. You're good. Yeah, I don't do. Was I chicken I this weekend? You really only. As a as a mom, I have to be pretty courageous all the time. So. Okay, that is it <laughs> for that segment. Goodranchers.com. Use code Family Man, and seriously, they because they've obviously hooked us up. They sent me a big shipment of a bunch of me. I mean, we had a we had a fun uh, taco night. Is what we did. I had some wagyu ground beef. Oh yeah, got that fired up. I've heard good things. I'll tell you what, man. Every now and then, you sleep on some just good old classic ground beef. Just cook that up, easy money. Yum. Anyway, <laughs> uh, okay, no. that's an episode. My Australian, New Zealand friends, seriously, DM us correct opinions. Let us know if you're coming. Yum. Um, it's so so cool that we'd have fans across the world, especially podcast listeners. So, you you like have to wait till Thursday afternoon to listen to us. Really? Right? Yeah. Oh yeah, that does make sense. The international Whoa. dateline throws me off a little bit. It's confusing. Uh, it's crazy. The tickets go on sale, quote, tomorrow, but tomorrow then is like now. Their tickets go on sale like an hour. This is what Oppenheimer is about, I think. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Wait. Uh, so thank you all. It's like, subscribe. We'll see you next week. And uh, you support the show. Get some meat. Family man. Good day. Correct opinion. Correct opinion.